Today we're going to shoot a little 22 Magnum revolver. This is a, a Charter Arms Pathfinder. Now this gun actually belongs to a friend of mine, Terry. And Terry spends a lot of time outdoors taking photographs. So he wanted a, he wanted a gun that was light, compact, and just something he could carry for, uh, for defense. So he picked up this little Charter Arms. So we're going to take a look at it. And then we're going to put a lot of rounds through this and see if we have any problems with it. And then uh, we'll critique it at the end. So let's take a closer look. It's got nice rubber grips on it. It is all stainless steel. Again, a two inch barrel. It is a six shot. I've got uh, some empties in here so I can dry fire it. You don't ever want to dry fire a uh, 22 rim fire. But uh, two ways to shoot it. You can shoot it single action. And it does have a pretty good single action trigger pull on it. And of course you can shoot it double action. And that double action really isn't bad. It's, it's a lot lighter than I expected and it, it is fairly smooth. So you know what? I really think that's about all we can cover on this. So you know what? Let's shoot the piss out of it. First thing I want to do is fire six rounds and see where this is hitting. Uh, Terry said it shoots a little low for him, so I got a target set up at five yards. I've got six rounds of Fedro 40 grain full metal jacket, so let's see where they're hitting. Yeah, definitely low and to the right. You know, obviously, if I was going to use this for self-defense, I wouldn't sit here and slow cock it and shoot fast. I'd be shooting double action. Put four center of mass. If that doesn't stop your attacker, put your last two rounds where it's going to count. I don't care how big and bad you are. You get two rounds of 22 Magnum in the face, Lights out, buddy. The 22 Magnum cartridge is, is really designed to be fired out of a, out of a rifle. When you, when you shoot that cartridge out of a two inch barrel revolver like this, you're gonna lose a lot of velocity, you're gonna lose a lot of energy, and that's, that's what we wanna take a look at next. So, in order to, to show that, I'm gonna compare that little revolver against a 22 Magnum rifle so you can get a good idea exactly how much, how much velocity and how much energy you're losing by going to that short barrel. On this test I want to check penetration. So I got one gallon of water and I got these two cans full of water and I'm going to shoot them with a 40 grain Federal full metal jacket and uh, see how much damage we can do. And I'm going to start the test off by shooting the revolver and I'm going to have a second camera set up so we can get a, a profile shot of, of uh, what happens here. Well, that bullet out of that handgun went through the jug, went through the second can, and bounced off the, the, uh, the third can. So let's try this rifle. Here's a jug that was shot with the revolver, went in here, come out here, did just a little bit of damage, and here's the jug that was shot with the rifle, big difference. The velocity difference between that rifle and that pistol is just tremendous. Uh, next thing I want to check is, is the amount of energy produced by that little pistol compared to the rifle. That rifle is going to produce about 300 pounds of energy. That revolver, I don't know, I'm going to guess probably 125 pounds, but what I'm going to do is we're going to shoot this steel target and see how much movement we get.
You know, I think it's time to have a little fun with this gun. I got two cans of uh, outdated Pepsi set up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot one with the pistol and one with the rifle. And I'm, this time I'm gonna use a 30 grain ballistic tip bullet. You know, I can't do a shooting video without throwing something in the air. So let's try this Raspberry Splash Shaving Cream for women. And let's try a, let's try a different angle this time. Well, that wasn't nothing great. As you've seen, I didn't have not one malfunction, so good little gun. You know, Charter Arms, they've been making guns since 1964. They have gone through bankruptcy a couple of times, but right now they're just putting out an excellent little revolver. So if you're thinking about getting one, uh, I would certainly recommend it. it. It certainly has its limitations, but up close, it's uh, really quite effective. I do have one complaint on the gun, though, and let me show you. If I cock the hammer back to shoot single action, see the sights? The sights aren't too bad, but if I want to shoot double action, now look, the hammer covers almost the whole rear sight. Makes it a little difficult to aim shooting double action, but just something you're going to have to, to get used to. So you know what? I'm going to go home, clean this gun, get it back to Terry, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.